What's going on guys? Welcome to Gunshot Gaming. I'm Tito Rosado, and before we get into some of the news, I want to first take you back to 2013. Uh, at that time, EA had uh, gotten the exclusive rights to produce all Star Wars video games. Uh, and I know when this deal was first going through, we all were thinking the same thing. It's not true. That's impossible. And unfortunately, it was true, and it was possible. No! No! EA secured a 10-year exclusivity deal to be the only one to be able to produce Star Wars games. So in that time frame, uh, so far they have given us Star Wars Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront 2, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, and Star Wars Squadrons, as well as Star Wars Galaxy's Heroes, some crappy little mobile game. So not a lot, especially when you think to back in the day, before EA had gotten that deal, we were given a good amount of Star Wars games. Granted, not all of them were great. But at least there was more of them to choose from. Um, so it, it kind of sucks seeing that they took the exclusive deal but then didn't produce a lot of games, especially with getting some exciting ones getting canceled, like Project Ragtag. That was a game that Amy, Amy Henning was supposed to um, produce, who she was the lead director on the Uncharted series, and it was supposed to be like a single-player, story-driven game that sounded so exciting. And then EA canceled it because at the time they were saying, oh, you know, people don't want single-player games. They want just multiplayer stuff. Uh, which that's a lie because single player games continue to do well. Um, so it was disappointing to see that get canceled. But now to get into the news you came here for, uh, Lucasfilm Games uh, put out this sizzle reel to kind of introduce a new era, as they were saying, of Star Wars games. Well, not only Star Wars games, but just Lucasfilm games in general. So after this sizzle reel was put out, they did officially announce that they are bringing back Lucasfilm Games as a company in which that company will now allow other um, production companies to create Star Wars games or Lucasfilm games. Um, right after this was put out, we did get an announcement that Ubisoft is now working on a open world Star Wars game. Uh, it's gonna be produced by Massive Games. It's Ubisoft Studio that recently worked on the Division series. Um, so obviously Ubisoft knows what they're doing when it comes to open world games as, uh, you know, I mean, you look at the Assassin's Creed series, the Far Cry series. So exciting to see what they can do in a Star Wars universe. We really don't have a lot on it. Um, you know, it seems like it's super early in development. There's no name, no real teaser for the game itself. Um, but, you know, I think they were just getting ahead to showcase that like other developers are going to be able to make games. So with this news, you know, EA didn't come out and say, yes, we've lost exclusivity deal. They did put out a statement saying they're excited to continue to work with Star Wars and Disney in the future. Um, but I, I think it's safe to say that either Disney like truly canceled their deal early uh, instead of having go the full 10 years, or they're just getting a head start on letting people know that, hey, we're gonna allow you to create games. So when that 2023 hits, and if the deal is truly going till then, right off the bat, we're gonna get brand new Star Wars content coming in. And I think it's just such a big win for us, a uh, big win for the industry in general, because you know competition helps push things farther. And knowing that when EA had that exclusive deal, they had no competition in other Star Wars games. No other company could create it. So now it's just thinking of the amazing pairings that could happen in the future, especially just thinking of like, like if, if Naughty Dog, right? I don't think it'll happen, but imagine, imagine if Naughty Dog got the Star Wars license. What an amazing game they could create. Um, so, but it also opens it up to even indie developers. Maybe some indie developers could create, you know, different smaller games in a Star Wars universe. So I'm super excited for the future of what kind of Star Wars games we could get now that it's going to be open to more developers and EA doesn't have a, you know, Darth Vader grip on the license. So with the announcement of Lucasfilm Games, we also got this teaser trailer um, for what we found out is a Indiana Jones game. Uh, now this is gonna be coming from uh, Bethesda and uh, machine games within Bethesda and directed by Todd Howard. 
So I'm really excited for this one, uh, especially knowing how much I've enjoyed like the newer Tomb Raider series and the Uncharted series as those are kind of based off of Indiana Jones. Um, so to really see what somebody can do with the true Indiana Jones IP, uh, especially coming from Machine Games, we're seeing the way they rebooted the Wolfenstein series and those games are beautiful and great storytelling. And while they do have more of a pedigree in first person shooters, I think we've seen others make that transition in the past very well um, from Guerrilla Games going into the Horizon Zero Dawn series and you know Respawn being known for Titanfall and now Apex um, creating Jedi Fallen Order going from that first person to creating a third person. Um, I think some of that pedigree and their talent can still transition there because I would be very surprised to see if the Indiana Jones game becomes a first person game. I just don't think that's right. Um, you know, we have very little news about it. All we have is that teaser that I just showed you. Very short, um, very quick. It is truly the definition of a tease. Um, and I think it's something we won't see for quite some time. Um, but just, you know, knowing that now with the introduction of um, Lucasfilm Games, there's going to be a lot of opportunity for more things to come in the future. And those of you who don't know, you know, Lucasfilm Games is the same company that you saw back in the day uh, when Star Wars games loaded up. Uh, if you remember this little logo that would pop up. Yeah, that brings back memories. LucasArts, which is now Lucasfilm Games. So I think we're gonna see that pop up a lot more in the future. And I think this is just the beginning of the news that they're going to have for us. Um, and this also brings the question that a lot of people are wondering since the Indiana Jones is, the Indiana Jones game is being produced by Bethesda. Everyone wants to know, is this going to be an Xbox exclusive? Um, since, you know, Xbox has now purchased that studio, although it's not all 100%, the deal is not complete yet, but it is done. Um, as in that they're for sure making it happen, but all the papers haven't been signed. I don't know how that stuff works, but it, it's not set yet. <laughs> um, but wondering if this deal took place before or after that, um, we'll see what happens there. But I think the guaranteed thing you can know is that it's going to come straight into Game Pass on day one. Um, so just another great title that you get with Game Pass as that service just really continues to get better and better. Um, but can't wait to see what else we get from Lucasfilm Games and as well as, you know, Star Wars is just, it's going to be awesome to see the content we get. So I'm excited. I'm sure you are as well as we were all waiting um, for EA to lose uh, that license deal. So um, can't wait to see what else we get in the future and uh, hopefully 2021 treats us good. Have a good day.